look at all of this wonderful food I have to eat. I am super excited. I am thrilled to try it. So let's get ready to dig in. Hey. So in this video, I am going to be trying Blackbird's Foods seitan products as well as their sausage. So I previously tried their plant-based pizza. You can watch that video right here, but they also have this seitan product. Um, some of it came on the pizzas and it was really delicious. So what I'm going to do is try them in these recipes that I've made here and we're going to give it a taste test and see how it is. Could this be the next best vegan chicken seitan sausage product? Let's find out. Okay, let's start with the sausage crunch wrap using the Blackbird's Food Sausage. Here's what it looks like. I ain't gonna lie, I was a little concerned. I used some just egg. Here's what the sausage looks like warmed up. It's just a heat and serve. Violife cheddar cheese and a store bought hash brown. I used a burrito sized flour tortilla shell layered on the ingredients and topped it with a smaller street sized flour taco tortilla. Folded that bad boy up like so, dropped a bowl on top to hold it in place. And off to our skillet, just a little bit of oil at the bottom. Pop that bad boy in, let it cook up and get nice and brown before you flip, uh, don't be like me. I was a little anxious, so I flipped it too soon. Flip it back over, try again. Nice and brown, and here's what it looks like all cooked up. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Okay, first let's talk about what's inside of here. So it's really a seitan product. So it does have the flour, water, sugar, um, and some seasonings. So I'm actually gonna try it just, you know, in its natural state to see what the flavor of it is like. And then I'm gonna try it actually in my crunch wrap. It smells, I can really smell the fennel. I can really see the fennel. Um, it smells like herbs that's what it smells like like herbs and spices and let's see what it tastes like mm. tasting it like that Ooh, a little spot got a little kick to it too tasting it like that i'm not hugely excited about it i don't know what it is but it just had a weird taste that i really did not enjoy let's dig in mm. i like it in here don't like it as much by itself doesn't really do nothing for me by itself in a dish it's good the spices and the sausage really taste good with everything else this is so good. It's really super easy to make. All right. I don't want to get full because I've got so much other food to eat. Mmm. 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 This is good. This is super good. Yeah. In here, it works. I need to put this down. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Right. We like the sausage in a dish, not by itself. Mixed up in something. Pot pie time. So for this recipe, I use the rosemary garlic seitan, and yeah, that's what it looks like. Broke about half of the package off. Did a little rough chop to break the pieces up so it wasn't one big clump. Make sure it was all nice and separated. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looked like dark meat chicken. Folded that into my pie filling. I got this recipe from Nora Cooks. I will drop the link below in the description so you guys can check that out if you like. Mixed all of the ingredients together until it was well combined. And then off to my ramekins. Fill those up, pie crust on top, into the oven we go, just like that. And that's what it came out looking like, pie pies. 
You guys, you saw it baked over a little bit, but that ain't got nothing to do with how it's gonna taste. So I'm gonna try the rosemary garlic seitan by itself to see what it tastes like, and then we're gonna dig into this and see what it tastes like all together. Just got a little piece. Mm -hmm. That's a nicely seasoned. Not overpowerly seasoned, but nicely seasoned. Like with the sausage, I don't know if it's the fennel or the sage because my palate is not that mature. I can't differentiate which one is which. But it's overpowering a little bit. It's very strong in the sausage. Here with the rosemary and the garlic, perfect. Beautiful match, tastes really good together. The consistency, oh I didn't say that about the, the sausage. The sausage consistency is like a, um, looks like bread crumb ish. The consistency of this seitan is chewy. It's chewy like a piece of meat. So let's dig into this pot pie. Wait, I didn't get any chicken. Mm, there go a piece. I love a good pot pie. You know what? I'm gonna be honest. The, the, the seitan pieces got a little lost in there. I could tell I was chewing on by the consistency. The flavor kind of got lost, so I think it kind of got like mixed up in here. Although it was not bad, it just got lost. I don't know what happened. I do like it. I'm trying to think of what else I would cook it in. A pot pie is a good option. Maybe in a, a like an Alfredo pasta or maybe. I think the mildness of the rosemary and the garlic it kind of blends in here and gets a little lost so you don't taste it as much. Um, you know, overall, seitan is like bland. You got to make it taste like something. While it is good, the, con the consistency is good. It's chewy. It's chewy like chicken. And here, that, that one just got a little lost because there's so much other things competing with it. Next time when I do it, I'll probably add a little bit more seasoning to the seitan just so it can pop. You know, it didn't really pop in the dish. This Popeye is good though. I ain't even gonna front. Okay, what do we taste the next? Let's go tacos. I'm going tacos. It's Taco Tuesday in my LeBron James voice. I use the chili lime seitan. Mm-hmm, looks really good. I went super simple with these tacos. Just the seitan, pico de gallo, some avocado, and some taco seasoned sour cream. Threw a little cilantro on top and bam, don't they look pretty? I only put this in here to hold these up to make it look pretty in the video. We don't really need this. Okay, so we're gonna try the chili lime seitan by itself. And I must say that this one smelled really, really good when I was cooking it or warming it up. It smelled really like it. I was like, ooh, that one tastes like it got a little, little seasoning up on it. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about this one. Let me taste it by itself and see what it tastes like without all of this. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe that's what mm-hmm. I can really taste the lime. I taste the lime more than anything, but it's I like it. Let's see what it tastes like in a taco. Cheers. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Phenomenal in a taco. Mm hmm Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna eat the rest of this so bad, but I got those sliders over there that I need to taste. That is good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm excited. I'm really ex I'm really, really excited about these sliders. Did you see what those look like? Barbecue chicken sliders. Up next. Alright, let's slide on into these barbecue chicken sliders, honey. Featuring the Texas barbecue seitan. Now it does look a little dry to me. A little bit. I paired that with some coleslaw that I made, threw it on some slider buns. I had to add a little bit of extra barbecue sauce. I like my stuff saucy. Coleslaw on top and that's it. 
I kind of made them three different ways. This wasn't saucy enough, so that's why I added a little extra barbecue sauce. It looked a little dry for my like, and I like sauce. Like, I wanna be saucy. I want sauce to be running down my lips saucy. Um, so I'm gonna give it a fair shot. I'm gonna try it just regular on a bun. I'm gonna try it with the slaw, and then all together with my extra barbecue sauce. Actually, first, let me just try it by itself. You know, no bread, no nothing. See what it do. Okay, Texas barbecue by itself. Mmm, it need more sauce, but it's good. Really, really good barbecue flavor. Try it by itself. It's just so dry. It's so dry. I know this is gonna be dry. It's dry, but it's good. I just need some more barbecue sauce. I need to come with a side of barbecue sauce or sauce it up some more. Sauce it up just a little bit more. Just a little bit more, okay? Because when you cook it, it kind of it, it, it absorbs, it goes away. I want it to be a little saucier. That's just me. Now here is it with some slaw on it. Mmm. That slaw did something there. Them two together, mmm, that's good. You know my food is good. <laughs> all right, now let me taste it all extra saucy. See, this is how I like it. I like it to be running down and sauce everywhere. That is good. Blackberry, y'all might know what y'all doing, cause this is, this is the truth. Let me just say, I am so happy that vegan products, plant-based products have evolved into stuff that we can make into dishes like this. It's, I'm so excited, I'm so happy to see it. And this just proves and lets people know that we don't eat the same, we don't just eat salads, okay? You see this? You see what we doing over here? We ain't eating no salads. I actually don't even really like salads, for real. I eat them every once in a while, but Okay, this is how we do. Now I couldn't do all of this cooking and not fry something. So for the fried chicken sliders, I used the original seitan. And yeah, kind of looks like some chicken, kind of not. Separated those into three servings. Close up view, interesting. I used a wet batter and a dry batter. For the wet batter, I just seasoned it with some seasoned salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. I did the same for the dry batter and then added some cornstarch to give it some extra crunch. Tried to be as delicate as possible because I didn't want these to break apart. Dropped them over into the oil. They held together really nicely. I was very surprised. Fry those up for a couple of minutes until they got nice and golden brown. You know, I am always an early flipper. I always flip too soon. I'm always thinking like it's been in there long enough and then it's like, no, it's not. So for the toppings, I just use some slider buns, tomatoes, lettuce, and ranch dressing, homemade of course. Started with the buns, bun, bun, buns. Chicken, 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 ranch, tomato, lettuce, and bund her up. Now time for the grand finale. Dun, 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 dun. Fried chicken sliders. I was worried when I was cooking these that these was gonna fall apart, but they held together. They got a formation. You see them? They stay tight. This about to be it. I got high hopes. Tasting all the rest of those. Going in for these. I have high hopes. Let me try it by itself because this is all fried up, breaded, whatever. Coated, flipped, dipped, fried, and turned to the side. Let me try it by itself to see what it tastes like just plain. Now this is original, so I'm guessing it has like no seasoning on it. I don't think I really expect this to taste like much. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. You don't want to eat that like that. You got you to gotta do something with that. That need help. It needs help. But it still has the right consistency. It just need, need some seasoning, definitely. All right, let's go in. I'm going to be honest. I don't even really like tomato. But it look, the presentation of a tomato on a sandwich just worked. But I'm going to try it all together. But I'll probably end up pulling this tomato off. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, that is so good. Wow. 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 This is so good. I'm so full. Cool. Mm. 
Wow. Literally speechless. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, we. I think it's everything all together. I must say my vegan ranch is bomb. So the ranch tastes good. It's fried good. It got that right amount of crisp in it. Um, it didn't get dried out. So even though, you know, I fried it up. Because these really only say you just heat and serve. They don't really need to cook. So, you know, frying it up and battering it and all of that type of stuff. It didn't dry it out at all. You know, I am very, very impressed. You can just turn plants into something dynamic. Like this was... I really was expecting this at all. I was really excited to try these products and oh my goodness, they did not disappoint. Wow, this is amazing. There has been some really good vegan products on the market lately. Thank you, Blackbird Food. You know what it is about their products? They taste really homemade. They don't taste like commercially made and like it's just rolled out on a conveyor. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have that store-bought taste if that makes sense. It tastes like somebody was really in the back, you know, they was, I don't know what this motion is, but you know, they was whipping. It's like they made this batch just for me. That's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like a store bought product. That's what sets their products apart. Listen, I can go on and on about them, but I personally think that somebody else need to try this and I need y'all to tell me how it tastes. Cause I can tell you all day that they taste good. But, you know, my palette and your palette might be a little bit different. So if you're interested in trying these products, use my code NICK10, that's N-I-K-10, on their website here and get you some, okay? Go get you some. Go get you some. Give them a try. Let me know what you made and let me know how it tastes. All right, y'all. I'm tired. I've been cooking been eating, I've been eating, I've been cooking, cooking and eating, eating and cooking. So now I'm about to go relax. You all be well, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Deuce.